In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to, to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah, Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst. A mighty Savior, he will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness shall be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
The crowds asked John the Baptist, what should we do? He said to them in reply, whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none. And likewise, whoever has food should do the same. Even tax collectors came to be baptized and they said to him, teacher, what should we do? He answered them, stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, and what is it that we should do? He told them, do not practice extortion, do not falsely accuse anyone, and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But the chaff he will burn in unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some years ago, I was invited to a baby shower, and it was my first baby shower, and I didn't know exactly what to get. And so I went to a local toy department of a store and there I saw a little miniature set of golf clubs. And so I bought the little foot long set of golf clubs. And later on I consulted with someone else from the parish who was going to the baby shower and they thought that was a terrible idea. That what you have to bring to a baby shower is something practical. And here in today's gospel, John the Baptist gives us very practical ideas about what we should do in preparation for the Messiah in just a short time. The babe of Bethlehem is nearly among us. And we need to prepare a place. We need to make sure that all is made ready and that we have collected the things that he needs from us. And so, as in the gospel, we hear to give away a cloak and to share to be honest with people. These are the things that Jesus asks of us, that we fill our hearts with kindness, with good deeds, with justice, and that we take from those hearts anything that separates us from God. We look within and we find our sins, our offenses against him. The less room that we have for sin, the more room we have for Christ Jesus. We wear this color today. I'm wearing this color of rose as a sign of preparation. Think of it as something along the lines of a heavenly stoplight with rose playing the role of the color yellow, telling us that something radical is about to change, that something is about to be different, that Christ is almost with us. St. Paul today in his 
letter to the Philippians tells us to rejoice. And so we rejoice with glad hearts that Christ is near and that our kindness should be known to all. May we give him the gifts that he seeks, the gift of our love for him and for our neighbor. May we make our hearts ready for he will be here among us. As the first reading stated, in our midst very soon. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we are reminded that the Lord is always very near to those who seek him. Let us ask him to bring the light of his salvation into our lives. For the church, may she joyfully reveal her message of hope to all her members and the whole world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all governments, May they rule with justice and serve with charity and an effort to bring about lasting peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of love and joy in our communities, May we recognize Christ through our neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, throughout our lives, you are close to us as the cause of our happiness. Increase our faith in your abiding presence through Christ our Lord. Steve. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you, have created, all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession 
In your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice for reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. 
We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the final blessing, just a reminder that uh, if you are at home and unable to come to Mass, please contact your local church if you, if you already haven't because uh, the Catholic Church has Eucharistic ministers that love to visit our own people and to bring them Holy Communion. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of your only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you with the, radiant, with the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call one 866 507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. عند إذ سوف يجيبه الصالحين يا سيدي متى رأيناك جائعا فأطعمناك أو عطشانا فرويناك متى رأيناك غريبا فاستضفناك أو عاريا فكسيناك متى رأيناك مريضا أو سجينا فزرناك الملك سوف يجيب حقا أقول لكم كل ما فعلتموه مع أحد من هؤلاء الإخوة والأخوات فعلتموه من أجلي